This is my kayak. Ugh. My last kayak video was a complete failure, and I, I didn't even upload it because it was just terrible. Basically, I got super busy. I haven't used the kayak in a while because I was just doing inshore stuff and freshwater fishing and things like that. This thing sat outside for a good three, four, nah, probably like, this thing sat outside for a good month or two. And as you can tell, it's not looking good. Last time I used it, I got super flooded. So there's a bunch of sand in here. There's water in the back compartment and the unfinished cooler back here. There's leaves in it, there's dirt on it. We got, we got tog season, striped bass for the fall run, albie season. This kayak is gonna get used a lot and I'm getting it ready to go out this Sunday and a bunch more trips following that. So we got to do something about this thing, man. It, it cannot look like this. There's a giant spider right there. What the fuck, holy shit. I put a lot of things in here that were stupid ideas and I didn't finish them all. And I basically was just gonna time lapse the whole thing and then I edited it and I was like, wait a second, I didn't even talk in it and it was just, it wasn't good. It was not good. And the ideas I had were, were also terrible. So uh, let me let me just show you, let me just show you what, what I mean. This piece of wood right here that I cut and then bolted down to the kayak, why is it here? Uh, I ask myself that question every day. I, I don't know. It, it It's in the way of your legs. Um, it, it collects dirt. It... It, it just, I don't know why it's there. It looks ugly. I don't know. I thought maybe I'd put the GoPro mount on it and that it would look cool. Basically, I thought putting the GoPro mount on here would be cool. And then I could cut bait on here. Um, I could cut bait wherever. It doesn't have to be on this board that obstructs my knees. Because every time my knees would be like hitting this thing. And uh, yeah, so this, would, this one, definitely a bad idea. Another thing I did was put a cooler in the back here. Now, yeah, that's a great idea. Put a cooler in the back. I figured, you know, since I'm sitting, since I'm sitting right there, I can turn around. I can put like some sea bass in here, some fluke, whatever. I'm like the fillets in a bag, in the ice. You know, it'd be a great idea. I can have my lunch in here, water bottle, so I don't have to put a cooler up front. Well, then I spray foam the inside, and I took a ton of this stuff. This like, I don't know, duck, duck, duct tape. Like not a duck, but like a vent, like reflective insulation tape. And I basically put it all in there, right? All in there. I put it all up in here and I put it all up in there. And then I covered this thing with it. So this stuff was just flaking off everywhere. I mean, it's not its not very sticky as it is. And when you try to stick it on this glossy spray foam, I mean, what, what did I think was gonna happen? So it does not look good. I also got flooded out and there's a lot of water in there still, so. That's got to get fixed also. Also, when I got flooded last time I used the kayak, got some water in there. Got a, a bunch of sand over here. So first of all, we got to clean it up. Then we got to fix the stupid things I did do it before. And then we got some fun things to do, like putting a rod holder and some LED lights underneath. Um, so stay tuned for that. But first, we got to clean this thing up, man. I can't have my kayak looking like this. Um, especially when tog season's coming, like now, actually yesterday was the first day of blackfish season. The fall run for striped bass has begun. Albies are coming in next week or so, so I gotta get this thing rigged up for, for all that kind of fishing, so. And why don't I have a rod holder on this yet? Like, wh why don't I have a rod? Basically got my rod holder here, um, mounts to the side of the kayak, and then just got my rod holder. And uh, I got a 12 volt battery over here with some LED lights, I'll show you that real quick. So we got my 12 volt battery, it's a little one, um, nothing too fancy. Then I got four of these little LED blue um, lights, so they're gonna wire up to the battery. By the way, I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to electrical work, I literally have no idea. Watched two YouTube videos on how to wire this up and I, I, I didn't understand it at all. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna do it tonight. We're gonna be doing it tomorrow. Gonna go get a switch and a dimmer and then some extra wire I think I don't really know um, <laughs> I gotta watch the video like four more times because I'll put up the diagram right here He, he, he said it was easy it, the diagram right here doesn't explain how to do any of that So um, they screw in as well as they do adhesive So they screw in and adhesive to the side. I'm gonna put them under so we got some underglow shrimp are gonna come to the boat Striped bass are gonna be all over it 
fucking fluke, everything's gonna come to my boat because the shrimp are there. You know, it's just, it is what it is, bait and everything. Got a six foot medium rod with dicks as well. This was $20, and I put my Abu Garcia Silver Max on it. Um, the Vengeance rod that I had broke, so I wanted another light rod. This is a six foot medium, like I said. And it's really nice. So, it was $20, and I really needed another rod. $20 for like a decent rod. I mean, it's not like a great rod. It's not like a good brand, but it's like literally for bass and maybe fluke. So we're going to hustle up this video, get going with the rod holder. I think I want to put it on this side. Wait, what am I saying? We got to clean this thing first. It's looking a lot better, but now it's time to get rid of stuff like this. That was just not a good idea to put there. Was it a good? I, I mean, I'm not mad about it, but it just wasn't a great idea. So these are bolted in with just a nut. So I'm going to take the nut out and then hopefully it pops out. I don't know. I don't know how to get this out, to be honest. All right guys, as you can see, got duct tape up here, duct tape in there. Overall, I think it looks a lot better. Um, obviously, it doesn't look pretty. Um, it's not going to. It's not really the point. The point is just to make it a little bit more flatter, look a little bit better, and then uh, work a little bit better. So right here, I actually put some of the reflective foam stuff um, that I showed you earlier. Put it in here, and then I duct taped over it so it doesn't flake off just because this part didn't have any spray foam. And I don't want any heat coming up out of, or I don't want any of the cold coming up out of it. So yeah, there we go. We cleaned it, fixed the mistakes, and now it's time for the fun part. Time to install this awesome rod finder. <laughs> rod finder. Time to install this awesome rod holder, not a fish finder. I'm just, I just want a fish finder so bad. I gotta get my money up though, because they're kind of expensive. All right, here we go. As you probably saw before, um, that was pretty stupid. I put it on the inside of the kayak. My dad came out here and he was like, dude, you're gonna hit your knee with that. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, I'm so stupid. Anyways, I put it on the outside. So, damn it, come on camera. Anyways, I flipped it, it was on the inside. I was hitting my knee on it. I don't know what was going through my head. So I carved out a little piece here so I can get the nut through. So now this thing is sturdy on there. And I got the hacksaw so we can cut these bolts off so I don't bang my shin into them. And here we go. 
And just like that guys, we got a nice rod holder ready to go. It also does swivel. I will show you the swiveling mechanism now. Typically, if you want to swivel it, you pull up, you turn it, oh, the rod tip, or the rod pin, and then you can put it down, and there you go. It's turned, you want to turn it back. Now we got it back to straight, and uh, it does go up and down, but I have it at a good angle right now, so I'm not going to move it with that. But yeah, pretty excited about this rod holder. I've, I don't know why I haven't put a rod holder on yet, but there it is. Um, yeah, here are the little pieces of bolt that I cut off. They are burning my hand right now. All right, guys, so I do have some wire. It's a bit overkill. Um, basically, I'm going to be using, it's got a bunch of different in here, a bunch of different ones in, all connected together. Um, but I'm going to be using blue for the blue and then white for the black just because it's pretty contrast. I'll, I'll figure it out. Um, so yeah, I got white and blue right here, got a, got a big spool of wire, and uh, the only issue is we don't have a switch and we don't have a resistor, so um, we also don't have a dimmer, so I'm going to buy a dimmer, um, might as well if I'm going to buy the resistor and the switch, um, but yeah, um, this is what it looks like right now, if you wanted to get a little, get a little taste, if you wanted to get a little taste of what the, the light's going to look like. looks like boys pretty bright if you say so myself and yeah so my plan is to drill a hole to the wall of the kayak for these wires to go through then I'm gonna silicone the hole um, where the wires are both on the outside and the inside so we don't get any leaks and then we're gonna be screwing this in to the side of the kayak so the reason I'm gonna be siliconing them is, and I didn't do it for the other ones is because I'm putting these under the kayak um, so I don't obviously the water is going to be touching these. That's why they're they're waterproof for boats and stuff. I don't want any water getting in. So since there's going to be water pressed up right against these lights, we're going to be siliconing the both the screw holes as well as the holes for the cabling. And then my plan is to get a little Tupperware container for the battery, um, waterproof that, silicone all the way around, um, just to make it like super waterproof in case water does get in my kayak. It's not going to like fry everything and electrocute me. So this video is already pretty long and uh, this is going to take a while, probably gonna be, like, take me like 30, 40 minutes um, and I have to go out and get the resistor and the switch and everything like that. So we're going to be making a part two to this video um, where I do all the lighting and uh, the battery and everything like that. So we're going to be testing out the rod holder tomorrow. So hopefully there is a, there is a video of me catching some fish because if there's no video, that means I didn't catch anything and that would be pretty sad. Anyways, thank you guys so much for making it in this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.